Hello friends, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I have here this uh, Samsung Galaxy A10. The model number is A10. No, no, it's uh, SM-A102U. And uh, the problem on it is the password. So the guy, he said he forgot his password. So I will help him to bypass this password. I already warned him that all the information on the phone will be deleted. And if the phone has a Gmail account, he will need to put his Gmail account account and its password. I mean by Gmail account, the Gmail account that is used in this phone. So for you, if you have the same phone and it doesn't belong to you, remember, you're going to stuck on the Gmail account and it's more complicated to bypass than the regular password. Okay, so if the phone doesn't belong to you, just give it back to his owner. He may like uh, put his correct password and bypass it. Anyway, so to bypass this password here, what we're going to do, we're going to do what we, what is called hard reset. The hard reset. The hard reset will wipe the phone completely and it will make, make it like, like a new phone. But if it has a Gmail account, always you're going to stack on it during the activation. You cannot use the phone. So to do the hard reset on this phone, first we need to turn it off. Let me show you something. When I try to turn it off like this, it may ask me for the password. Okay, you see it's asking for the password. So there is no way to turn it off before you put the correct password. But there is another way to do it. So what we're going to do, we're going to push the volume, the volume uh, down button the power uh, the volume up button so both buttons i'm gonna hold them then i will push the power button so keep holding for maybe seven seconds i'm holding three buttons all right so the phone turns off now and once it turns back once it shows this now what i can do i will i have here three options so what i'm gonna do i will click the volume down button the volume down button then I will push the power uh, the volume up button. So I will click in this screen. I will click the volume down button. Then I will click the the volume uh, up and the power button at the same time. Look. So I'm gonna click the volume down. Then I will hold these two buttons. Now when I see the Samsung logo like this, I will release the power button and hold the volume up. Keep holding. All right. So when I keep holding, it's gonna bring me to this screen here i have many options i have reboot the system so if i want just to reboot the phone i'm just going to push the power button and the phone will reboot to the to the screen which we which i saw you in the i saw you in the beginning but in our case we're going to wipe the phone completely so we're going to use the volume down uh, like this volume down the volume up to scroll up and down here so i'm going to go to this option here wipe cache partition so I'm going to click the power button to enter. Then here it asks me yes or no. So I'm just going to use the volume down to scroll down to yes. Then the power button. Then I will scroll down. Uh, this is the second step. I will go to wipe data factory reset. Okay, so I'm going to push the power button. Then I will scroll to yes. Then I will push the power button. Now the phone is like uh, deleting all the information on it and data wipe complete if you see it here. And now I will push the power button to turn the phone on. So when I turn the phone on, it will turn like a new phone. Hopefully it doesn't have a Gmail account on it because if it has, you will stuck on the on that Gmail account. Most of the phones they have a Gmail account because when you have a smartphone, people usually they put like the Facebook and the WhatsApp. They put the, the application, and to install an application on the phone, that means you will need to create a Gmail account or put the Gmail account that you already have. All right, so let's wait for the phone to reboot now. By the way, this phone is from Metro PCS. It may take a couple minutes. We're just gonna wait. All 
right the phone is starting after maybe like uh, four minutes it comes to this screen all right so now the phone is uh, ready to use so we're gonna activate it hopefully it doesn't have a gmail account i just i will read this what is optional you don't have to select it so i'm just gonna unselect this then click next here skip for now next okay so it asked me to connect to the wi-fi i'm trying to not connect it to the wi-fi turn off wi-fi Alright, so it requires me to turn it back to connect it to the Wi Fi. Skip, 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 skip. Skip. Okay, just keep clicking on skip. Oh no, it doesn't it doesn't give me the option. Skip. I'm clicking on the skip. Alright, it looks like it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. Let's wait for it. This uh, this may take a few minutes. Alright, this takes uh, longer than it's supposed to. And it tells me here, taking too long, try going back and connecting to different network. So I'm just going to go back. Alright, so I will have to connect it to the Wi-Fi. So let me connect it to the Wi-Fi. so it's connecting to the Wi-Fi next I think the phone has a Gmail account on it so let's wait for a couple more minutes Alright, so the phone came back to the home screen, but unfortunately the phone has a Gmail account on it. Because now you see it asked me to put the password that we don't know. Then I have another option. If you know what is your Gmail account, you can just click on this link here. Then it will take you to the place where you can put the Gmail account that was previously synced on the phone. And uh, if you don't know what is the Gmail account exactly, if the phone belongs to you, you can put your phone number here, then hit next, and it will ask you for uh, the password, then you can back up the password in case the phone belongs to you. Alright guys, so I hope that this uh, video helped you to solve your problem. If it does, please hit the thumbs up. Also share this video with friends, and uh, see you in the next video. Have a wonderful time. Peace.